I connected an external USB camera to a live streaming app inside of my phone. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. But before I show you how to do that, let's talk about the things that you're going to need in order to make that happen. The app that I'm using today is a free app called Prism Live Studio. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, I have tutorials on how to use Prism Live Studio both for a live streaming situation or for a free video editor where you can remove the watermark for free. And I'm gonna put links down in the description below to that. And if you're not new to my channel, you know how amazing of a live streaming app this is. So you really gotta enjoy what I'm gonna show you today. Once you've downloaded the app, the next thing you're going to need is a USB camera. Now this is an inexpensive Logitech that I picked up. It's just a normal webcam, but it's important that it's USB. This is very important. Don't skip this part. The next thing you're going to need is a connector because I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S9. I need a USB-C connector to USB. If you have an older phone, you might need a five pin cable to USB. Whatever the case, you're going to need a connector where one side of it's gonna plug into your phone and the other side's going to be USB. Now let's talk about the why. If you have an older phone and the optics are not that good, maybe you can get a webcam with better optics and use that for your webcam. That makes sense for an older phone. Some of them actually aren't that good, but these webcams are actually good and they're affordable and they're a lot cheaper than buying a new phone. And of course, if you have a newer phone, you might be thinking, hey, my camera's really good. I don't need a webcam or maybe the webcam quality is inferior. And you'd be right thinking that, but it's not always about the quality. Actually, when you compare this live to the built-in camera that comes with my Samsung Galaxy S9, you really can't tell a difference once it's actually streaming. But here's where this really shines. You don't actually have to move your phone up and down and you're not held hostage to the position of your phone while you're live streaming. You can set your camera up on a little tripod or you can clip it on something because that's what you can do with these things, right? And you could screw this into the bottom of a tripod and you could set it anywhere in the room. You could do an overhead shot with it looking down, plug it into your phone, and now you can use your phone as the monitor and you can use your phone to communicate with the chat because with Prism Live Studio, you can see the chat. So this is the real win here. It's not necessarily the phone camera. It's about what you can do with this. And, and well, I'm making a lot of noise here. <laughs> It's about what you can do with this and get creative with the positioning of this. That's where this thing really shines. Now, before we continue, I do wanna say that this is only for Android users currently. iOS users, this is coming for you, but you don't have it just yet. So keep an eye on your Prism updates. It is coming. Now, setting this up is incredibly easy. All you wanna do is take the webcam side of the USB, and I'm gonna put this up close here. Then you wanna take your connector and you just wanna plug it in. You just wanna plug it in so you have the webcam connecting to the actual adapter. Then you wanna take the adapter and plug it into your phone like this. So you have the webcam, the adapter, and the phone. And you'll immediately see the Prism Live Studio asks you if you wanna connect the webcam to the app or not. And if you do, which you do, tap on OK. After you tap on OK, you're gonna see that the stream from the webcam shows directly inside of Prism Live Studio. And once it's in there, you can go through and you can use their filters, you can draw on top of the screen, you can do everything that you would normally do if you were using the native camera inside of your smartphone. Now you might have a couple of questions and I'm gonna answer some of the ones that just came to the top of my head when I was making this video. And the first one is, how do I charge my phone if I'm trying to live stream and I'm using this adapter? Well, I thought you would never ask because there are other types of adapters out there. You don't have to get a single adapter. You can get something like this. For this particular adapter, it's USB-C, so it's gonna plug right into my Samsung, but it has a charging port and it has other USB connectors here on the back. So I can plug this into my phone, I can charge my phone, and I can run the webcam at the same time, and I can even run a microphone. And this is one of the cool new updates that Prism Live Studio recently made, and that's that you can now use external microphones, especially USB microphones, plug them right in using this cable or using this sort of an adapter, and you can use it inside of Prism Live Studio where you couldn't do that previously. Now, iOS users, you could do that. It was by default in some situations, but it wasn't actually a feature yet. Now for Android users, you can use the mic. It is official. So that's a really cool update from Prism Live Studio. And while we're speaking of updates, if you don't know yet, Prism Live Studio removed any time limitations for recording and editing using the video feature. Previously, it was 10 minutes, but that is gone. So make sure that you update your app because now there are no limits to how long you can use Prism Live Studio. Another question might be, okay, that's cool. I don't wanna use a webcam. I have a DSLR. Can I hook up a DSLR to my phone using Prism Live Studio? And the answer is, 
Not yet, but it's coming. It's actually coming really soon. So make sure you stay updated because it's not going to be long before you can take a DSLR and live stream through your phone using the Prism Live Studio app. And that is gonna be insane. That's when you can truly get amazing optics through a live stream and stay totally mobile. I'm really looking forward to that because when I'm out and I'm running around, maybe I'm with my brother, he has his DSLR, I have my phone and I have an internet connection. We can get a much better quality image with great depth of field, that blurry background during a live stream. And we can do that with a DSLR, do a phone in Prism Live Studio. So keep your eyes out for that. It is coming. Now, if you wanna dig in even deeper and watch full tutorials on how to live stream or edit your videos with Prism Live Studio for free, tap on one of the videos that's showing on the screen right now. It'll take you to those videos and you can learn how to properly use Prism Live Studio. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.